This is a video trying to explain how to make a simple little uh, synthesizer or noise maker out of CMOS, which is complementary metal oxide semiconductor uh, integrated circuits. They're good because they're battery, well, they draw low current, so they can be battery powered. They'll take a wide um, range of input voltages. Uh, the simple CMOS relaxation oscillator looks something like that with the timing set by the capacitor and resistor here. Now the NOT gates, um, you can either use something like a 4069 which has six NOT gates but I prefer to use either a 4001 um, or a 4011 um, and connect the inputs together to create the NOT gate like so um, for reasons which will become apparent. What I do is I create a low frequency oscillator, so um, the frequency is set by the potentiometer and the capacitor in this case which would be electrolytic, say about one microfarad. And this drives a low frequency into a, a voltage controlled or audio frequency oscillator. Strictly speaking it's not a voltage controlled oscillator because it's either on or off, it doesn't actually change frequency with proportion to the voltage. Uh, I put this together on a little breadboard to start with say. So we've got one of these little breadboards, the 4001 or the 4011. Um, comes in a dual in line 14 pin package. Pin 14 is uh, positive, pin 7 is ground. Uh, I've got them connected to a 9 volt battery with a 1000 microfarad capacitor as decoupling. I've also got a speaker with a, a little 100 nanofarad capacitor uh, to listen to the output. So what we do is we, first thing we do is we connect the two inputs of the first gate together to create the audio oscillator, then we connect the two inputs of the second gate together. This has created two NOT gates. Now we take the output of the second gate and connect it to the input of the first NOT gate, which is created from an AND gate. We then take a capacitor and put it between the output of the first gate and the inputs of the second gate. We then take a potentiometer and run it between the output of the second gate, which is also the output of the oscillator, and the input of the first gate. We now connect the speaker. So what you can hear there, that's the audio frequency oscillator. It's finished. Now I'll do the same oscillator again on the other side with the remaining two gates, but this time with a larger timing capacitor here, which is a one microfarad capacitor. I'll just switch that off. So we take the first NOR or NAND gate, short the two inputs, take the second gate and short the two inputs, take the output of the second gate and connect it to the inputs of the first gate, take the potentiometer and connect it basically over the second gate. And take the capacitor with the positive terminal to the output of the first gate and the negative terminal to the inputs of the Second gate, Let's try and poke it. I'll just turn off that because that's distracting. Okay, it's working now. You see that flashing? That's the rate of the low frequency oscillator as set by this potentiometer. So now what we want to do is we want to take that output and use it to drive the sound. So take another length of wire here and what I'm doing is I'm just going to take it off where it's going to that um, LED from the same area which is the output of the second gate on the low frequency oscillator. I'll connect the speaker back up. So there's the audio frequency oscillator, but not being gated. Now that I'll break the connection of the two inputs connected together, 
and run the low frequency oscillator into the second oscillator. Wiring Boo Boo again. Okay, I'll go back to getting the audio frequency oscillator working. And check the low frequency oscillator is working again. And now use the low frequency oscillator to gate the higher frequency oscillator. There we go. So you can make a bunch of noises. I've just put the LED in there as well so you can see the repetition rate of the low frequency oscillator. The next step is to add um, a 4, 4007 CMOS uh, decade counter so that you can um, incorporate a, a basic sequencer of some type and actually get it to play different tunes um, which would probably be another video. Yeah okay.